Hello great people, my name is Brian Were Amina. I'm from Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology undertaking a Bachelor of Science in Renewable Energy and Environmental Physics. I came to know about Youth and Success Association through the social media whereby I happened to attend one of their entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship forum at Strathmore University. There henceforth I became a member and also enrolled at the employability program whereby I was taken through the through some training and how to fit into the job market. Through the training I was able to develop my personal skills, that is CV writing, uh, at presenting myself in interview and also responding to various, email, various official emails. I've been in a good position to develop my personal skills and also YASA has helped me in terms of project development. In YASA we have got different other programs like the Costume Festival where they're promoting specific interests and talents of individuals and also helping them get out and impacting the society in a positive perspective. I would like to call upon my fellow youth men to come on board and join YASA since we are, we are, we are not only building individuals but we are, we are building a society that is impactful in a sustainable manner. On the other hand, YASA has been hel very helpful in terms of my project development whereby it has helped me participate in various competitions like the Youth Empowerment Initiative Program from Mombasa County and also the Kenya National Innovation Agency. It has been an eye-opener in developing my project and I've been in a in good position to attain several awards like being the runners-up in the Kenya National Innovation Agency and also happen to be the top, the top 10 finalists in the Youth Empowerment Initiative Program from Mombasa County. And my project is Beggy Bora, which is all about recycling of used baby diapers and producing eco-friendly carriage bags, which came into practice after the Kenyan government banned the use of plastic bags in August 2017.